So this is what I'm working on here. This is the liquid level receiver line liquid level indicator. So you see, uh, I told you. Yeah, see all the compressors there? This unit takes 500 pounds. So 500 pounds at 0%. Before I added that one jug, it was, it was lower, it was down. To, you couldn't even see the needle a minute ago. But 500 pounds at 0%, that means it would take 200 pounds to get it up to 40%, right? In order to add several hundred pounds of refrigerant at, at, at a fairly quick time frame, and it not take forever, is you've got to remove the valve stem. How do you do that on a pressurized system? I'll show you. So the whole objective is to provide the refrigerant a clear and open quarter inch pathway to flow through. And we do that with this valve stem remover tool. It allows you to remove the valve stem while there's pressure in it. And once you have the valve stem out, you want to make sure that you don't have any of those little valve stem depressors in your gauge hose. You're going to have your clear hose. Connect the hose to the bottle, then connect the hose to the tool with the valve closed. Leave this cracked just a little bit so you can purge it. Then of course just purge it, you know, you know how to do. And then with no restrictions anywhere, it's going to go in very quickly. Well, much quicker than it would with the restrictive things like a valve stem in there at least. takes. That's what I want to see. All right, ready? Too bad I don't have a scale to show you how quickly it would be losing weight. But this is this is very fast. What I'm trying to show you. Earlier, let's see, yeah, let's see. earlier I had, uh, this is the kind of leak that I was dealing with right here on this rack. Now you can see it's pretty, pretty substantial leak. Is this thing empty already? No. Okay. If I could hear it making some noises. Anyways, yeah, this is the leak. I can tighten that valve up and it uh, stopped it amazingly. Got lucky. So yeah, this is me zooming in on it. There we go. Again, for the most part, I believe the leak is uh, it stopped. Uh, that's why I like using a camera because you can really zoom in on it and it's much better than what my eyes can do. So, anyway, it looks like we're almost two minutes in. This thing's almost empty. We're going to hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but we're going to hear it start to make noise in a second. I hear that vapor. Like when we do this, hopefully you can hear that. And this saves you from having to carry all this refrigerant up the stairs all the way across the roof. Yep, I don't do that no more. So it looks like two and a half minutes. Yep, yeah, we're all vapor now. Yep, yeah, vapor. So, two minutes and 35 seconds roughly. That ain't bad. Y'all, I wanted y'all to see. Take the valve stem out, take out the little valve stem depressors from in there so you have a clear line going right into it. 
uh, dump your refrigerant into the suction line of one of the cases down here if you're working on a rack. Don't carry 200 pounds of refrigerant up a stairway. Um, as you can see, my phone's got 15%. That's it. So, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.